Hi everyone, this is Elena from Murex Looms and welcome to week three of our How to Warp series. This week we're going to talk about the shedding device and putting heddles on your loom for tapestry weaving. Now, the shedding device is this copper bar that goes across the loom right here. What it does is it lifts up half of your warp threads at a time or you can also lift up different sequences of, of warp threads. Um, but generally it picks up half at a time um, to allow you to move your weft through the raised and not raised warp threads instead of weaving over and under. So it makes weaving faster and easier. The way the shedding device works is if you see our, we have two bars, a top bar, and a bottom bar and those bars are attached to the warp threads with heddles. Now a heddle is just a little circle um, of thread. We have pre-made heddles or you can make your own um, and it is wrapped around that warp thread and then pushed onto the bar. And so then to change your shed, what you do is you move your shedding device handle in one direction and you can see that space that it makes and then for the other shed you move it in the other direction and it picks up the other half of those warp threads so it's really really nifty we definitely recommend it for tapestry weaving and um, really the only difficult part about using the shedding device is learning how to set it up and it's, it's not actually difficult, um, but it can seem like that is the, the, the barrier to using the shutting device. And so today I'm here to demystify that, show you how it really is super easy, um, and talk to you about troubleshooting. Um, there are some very, very common mistakes that people make um, when they're putting their pedals on the loom. Um, and when you know to look for those, it's, it's really easy to not make those mistakes. Um, so let's get started showing you how to put heddles on your loom. So for detailed instructions on how to warp your loom and put the shedding device on loom and put your heddles on, we have both video and PDF warping instructions. But I'm just going to show you briefly how to put a heddle on. So we've started um, on our first side of the shedding device, putting our heddles on every other warp thread. Now I'm just going to do the last one here on this side. So this is a heddle. You can see it's just a loop. These are one of our pre-made Teslov heddles. Looks just like that. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take this loop, we're going to select our warp thread, we're going to put that whole heddle behind the warp thread. And then we're going to fold it in half and we're just going to loop that onto the bar. It's as easy as that. Then when we're done with this first side, we're going to bring that bar all the way back. We're going to tighten this. We actually have a wrench to do that. And then all you do is you move your shutting device you to into the loom. So now that first set of heddles, is on the bottom and your second empty bar is on the top and then what you're going to do is you're going to loosen this bar and you're going to put your heddles on the warp threads that don't already have heddles now this is the harder part because it's easy to accidentally put a warp thread on the incorrect heddle so you have to be careful to check to see which ones are the ones without heddles already on them. And again, it's just going to be every other one, just every other one, different ones than had a heddle on them before. One uh, thing people do is they might take their spring bar and actually weave it through the uh, warp threads. So the heddle, the warp threads that need heddles are the warp threads that are on top of the spring bar. That's a really easy way to do it. Uh, just if you need a little little reminder there. So that's it. That's that's how to put heddles on. Very, very simple. 
The first common mistake that I want to talk about is messy heddles. Now, you wouldn't think as long as your heddles are put on correctly, if they were messy, that that would affect the shed, but it actually really can. So here I have an example of putting on heddles in a messy way. So you can see like the fronts of the heddle are way back here. This one's a little bit twisted as it's going on. And when the heddles are put on like this, they might not be moving smoothly against one another when you change the shed, and that can actually affect whether or not you get a good shed in one or both directions. So it's really important just to make sure that everything is kind of straight and even and not twisted. Uh, and that can prevent issues from messiness. So it's, it's very, easy to do. Um, you can tell when your heddles are messy and when they're not. Um, but that's the first thing to look for is that while you are putting your heddles on, just make sure that they're neat, that the fronts are in the front, that nothing, nothing's kind of twisted. Um, because neatness is very important. Neatness counts when you're putting on heddles. The next thing we're going to talk about are crossed heddles. So this is kind of similar to the messiness one, but sometimes you actually get your heddle crossed when you put your heddles on, like you push one uh, too far over another one, and those crossed heddles can prevent your warp threads from smoothly moving up and down. So look for crossed heddles. Again, this is something that you can fairly easily spot. Um, when you look at your heddles. If they're a little bit messy, you might see that, that one is crossed. So this one is, I think, the easiest and most common mistake to make, which is when you accidentally put two heddles on the same warp thread. Often when you do that, you don't notice, and then your count becomes incorrect. And you say, oh, there's a heddle on this warp thread. Now I need one on this warp thread. But really, you had missed a warp thread and put two on that one. <laughs> when that happens and you don't notice, you can mess up the rest of your heddling. Um, so it's important to every once in a while, just go and check and say, okay, this has one heddle on it. And you're like, oh no, wait, that's two. Um, if you do make a mistake like this, you most likely just have to go back to where you made the mistake and, and re-heddle from there. Uh, oftentimes people make mistakes and they aren't checking periodically. Uh, and so they, they put heddles on everything and then they try to make their shedding device work and it doesn't work. Um, and they're like, oh no, now I have to go back and check. And when I say they, I do the exact same thing. Um, but if you check periodically to make sure that you're doing it right. If you do make a mistake, it's a lot easier to fix it because you don't have to go back and fix everything. This last common mistake is when you put a heddle on an incorrect warp thread. So you put a heddle on one warp thread and then you put it on the next warp thread and forget to skip one. Again, this becomes a bigger problem when then you do skip the next one and you're actually putting heddles on all the incorrect uh, warp threads. So again, this is just a matter of checking to make sure, you know, even after each heddle, you can kind of turn the shedding device and say, okay, that looks right. I'm picking up half of the warp threads. Um, and you can kind of, you know, you can see here I have, I have heddle on, heddles on two warp threads next to each other, you can see when you're just moving the shedding device a little bit that there's a problem there. So again, the big takeaway is be careful. You know, do put your heddles on deliberately um, and, and you'll be fine because it's actually very, very easy to do. You just wrap heddles around every other warp thread on the top and the bottom. Um, so don't be intimidated. I promise it's easy to do. And as you do it more times, um, it gets easier. Uh, I, I almost think once you get more comfortable putting heddles on, it's easier to make a mistake because you're more confident um, and you forget to check. Uh, so yeah.
That is our, our last common mistake. So that's it. That is how to put petals on your loom and some troubleshooting advice for you. Again, the most important thing to remember is to do it slowly, do it intentionally. Um, whenever I make mistakes putting handles on my loom, it's because I'm not paying attention. Um, you know, I'm trying to watch a TV show while I'm warping my loom or have a conversation with somebody. Um, so if you just take that time, concentrate, keep checking to see if you've made a mistake, if you've put a handle on an incorrect uh, warp thread, um, then you're going to do great. The other thing I recommend is the first time you warp a loom um, using the shutting device, if you are feeling a little bit intimidated, warp a really thin piece. You know, warp a piece of 10 warp threads wide. Um, and it's really easy then to see how it all functions. Um, if the first time you're putting heddles on a piece, it's, you know, a two foot wide piece uh, at a really fine set, then it, it might feel more intimidating and it's easier to make a mistake. And, you know, it might be more difficult to find that mistake. Um, so, yeah, start small. Um, pay attention and you're going to do great. And once you start using the shutting device, you will never be able to go back to not using the shutting device um, because it's just it's so nice. It's so convenient. Okay, we'll see you next week.